Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I am sitting in a different spot today. I am still in my clothes, but I'm just in a different spot. Normally y'all see the bag displays, but I'm sitting somewhere totally different, just so I can be a little more comfortable to show you what I have to show you today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candace. I do luxury fashion and designer beauty videos. If you're not new, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again and staying subscribed to me, watching my videos. If you're not subscribed yet, hopefully you'll stick around, subscribe, continue watching, continue watching my videos. One second, I need to spit out my gum because that's very rude. That's fantastic. Okay, much better. I don't have to try to hide it. Today, if you didn't read the title, which I'm sure you did, because nobody clicks a video without reading the title, right? I mean, you never know. This is what I have. One of my favorite, my favorite color packs. Okay, that's enough. I'm so excited. This is on my wish list for 2021. I'm not gonna stall you because you already know what it is. Do you? Yeah, I told you what it was, I think, in the title. I didn't want to be too, you know. So, I have my paperwork here, which y'all did not care about. That's not important. It's important to me, but not to y'all. Look at it. I should have taken my picture with the box for my thumbnail, right? Nah, I'm so excited. Hold on, did she write me a special card or something? I'm looking to see what my essay put in this card. Oh, it's for me to write a card. I don't know what made them think this is a gift for somebody else. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that, but for me, I don't buy other people luxury gifts because other people don't buy me luxury gifts. Anybody else like that? Or is that selfish? I don't know. Okay, I have not opened this. This I got it from the store, so hopefully it works because, oof, that would be stressful. I had this almost a month. The thing is, I was waiting for all of my stuff to come in. I ordered stuff from everywhere, I'm telling you. I ordered stuff from the States, stuff from Australia. The Australian stuff took over a month to arrive to me. That's what it took so long, basically. I'm still waiting on a few things is why I'm separating this. I was like, enough is enough. I'm going to film this unboxing and the video following up after this. Not immediately after, but in the future. I'm going to do a video sharing how I organize my Louis Vuitton MM planner, I think. I know, or agenda. I know it's like called the medium agenda, but I think their new name is like the MM agenda. Give me a second. Here's where my paperwork comes in handy. <laughs> this actually tells me absolutely nothing. So, okay, let me Google. I could have sworn I saw MM somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking about all of those sites I ordered from, like for the inserts and stuff, but on the actual website, it says medium ring agenda cover. Guess that's the name of it. That's what we're calling it. In case you're curious about the code, the code is R20105. I know people like to know about that, what that is, in case they want to send it to the SA or I don't know what other reason you need that for, but also it comes in five different colors. It comes in the monogram, which is what I got, the monogram canvas. It comes in damier ebene, or damier ebene, however you want to pronounce it. Epi leather, damier graphite canvas, and also taga, taga leather. I've never heard of that one. I mean, basically all of these are unisex, but I've never seen that one. That might be, I would say, is for the men's line, but for stuff like this and really anything else, you know, it's not really for a particular gender. So you can use it interchangeably. No problem. Hold on. I need to put this in front of me. I use like this cam ranger thing. Well, it is called the cam ranger in which you can see yourself because my camera, the camera I'm using right now, there is no viewfinder. So I have to make sure I'm centered, I'm in focus, blah, blah, blah. Y'all don't care about that. Back to the review. Here's the agenda. I don't even think I showed you the close. I'm so sorry. It has a snap closure here. Snaps back close. Very easy to open and close. And then here's the agenda. I did get it hot stamped. I actually got it hot stamped, not with my initials, but with my business initials, the beauty bow. And then underneath it has your Louis Vuitton Paris. And this one was made in France. I know a lot of y'all, you know, prefer the made in France. I don't really see the significance. I still don't understand that. Can somebody please explain? Explain to me why people care if it's made in France or made in Spain. I don't know. Or made in Italy. Do they make it in Italy? I don't even know. Or in the United States. I don't care. Okay. It's, it's made. Period. Period. Top. As you can see on the left side, there are six slots. Like six card slots, you could put business cards, credit cards. I will more than likely put business cards because I do plan on using this for my business. Um, also, as far as the stamp, you can get different colors. I decided to get gold to, you know, keep with the theme of the agenda. Didn't want to stray too far away from that. I wanted to keep the same color scheme. I wanted to not branch out too much, but you could have done pink, you know, whatever color you want. 
Also on the other pocket, there's this flat pocket here. You can slide important papers or whatever you want in there. And also, aside from the six card slots they have right here, there's also this little slot or pocket down here that goes all the way across. As far as your cards, of course, they're a little shorter because they're meant for cards. This is the part I didn't do in store, so I hope this works. So this is supposed to open really effortlessly. It better for how much I paid for it. And it does. I actually don't think you're supposed to squeeze it right here. When I was in school, they were like, you can break it that way. But I don't think you can close it back. No, you can't. So you have to press it closed. I know this is way on a different level of binders, but I know in school, it wasn't a good idea if you did close it in the middle to close it at the bottom because it, it can make, I don't know, it can make it uneven when it closes and it causes the opposite ends of the rings to break quicker. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all at all, but hopefully that makes sense. So with that being said, how I'm planning on closing it, I want to close it just with the middle ones. That way they all close together at the same time. But like I said, with this particular binder and how strong and durable it feels, I don't think that would make a difference, but I don't want to take any chances. Also, the little gourmet things that hold the rings in the middle. Y'all see that? These things, it has one here and then one there. They say Louis Vuitton on there. Y'all probably cannot see that on camera. Really nice agenda cover. Let me tell you what I paid for it because I do know they recently went through a price increase. I'm not sure if this was included. So the price of this was $6.60 on the website. It is still $6.60. Okay, all right. So that's good news to you guys. If you wanted to get one of these, it didn't increase in price. That doesn't mean it won't. This YouTuber I watch, her name is Kate Swan. She made an interesting point. She said, and of course it was speculation on her side as well as mine. So don't go putting us on blast and like, you know, don't do that. I mean, if you do, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not, you know, clarified and 100% as she said it. But she said a lot of these items are on stock on the website, are out of stock on the website, and that basically they were waiting until after they did all the price increases to suddenly put them all back in stock. I was like, what? That might be what they're trying to do. Because a lot of items I've noticed have been out of stock for forever. And I know they put really popular items on there quickly and they sell out quickly. But I don't know. Something just seems really fishy and it's something I would not put past them. With them doing so many price increases in such a short period of time as a business, it really has me thinking though. Like if they do something like that, they're dirty. I know when we went into lockdown and the Chanel store here closed. This is a totally different brand, but all of these brands think alike in my opinion. All the stores closed down for lockdown and they were also doing a price increase around the same time when the stores were closed. So basically you had to have already had some type of connection, which I didn't. I didn't get my essay until after lockdown because I didn't start shopping at Chanel here until after lockdown. So I basically had to pay the higher premium because I didn't have anybody to talk to at the store. The stores were closed. I reached out to this girl on LinkedIn that I saw. I know it's like stalking, but I reached out to a lot of people on LinkedIn. That's what it's for. I reached out. I reached out to this girl on LinkedIn that I saw work there. She gave me her number and everything. I thought she was legit. She turned out to be bougie as hell. I will try out to continuously schedule an appointment with her. I'm like, okay, the stores are open now. Can I come in and buy something? I do want to buy something. I'm not trying to waste your time. I chased her three times, basically. She kept ghosting me. Wouldn't respond to me. She would read my message. I see that she read it, but she would not respond. Okay, this is a rant. I'm going to get to the point. <laughs> so I ended up having to go to the store. I was like, look, I don't want this girl helping me. I'm here. I need an appointment with somebody that works here. Except I don't want this girl because she act like she didn't want to help me. I'm a very blunt person. I don't dance around anything. If there's a problem, you gonna know about it. And I'm not gonna butter it up to make you feel better about it. I'm just gonna say what it is. I feel like that's the best way. But I just thought I would tell that story. I don't know why, but it just had nothing to do with Louis Vuitton, I know. But it's my agenda. I'm so excited to use this for years to come. I would normally buy one of those paper cheap ones from Target. I would get a really nice one. I wouldn't buy a super cheap one, but I'm saying cheap compared to this. <sighs> I love this so much. It's a bougie planner and I love how thick it is. It's gonna fit a lot of things in here. It has a lot of give right here in this little thingy here. You see what I'm talking about? This. So I can fit a lot in here. It's probably a better way of showing you. So I can literally have that much in there and it'll still close comfortably. So that's really good because I ordered a lot of stuff. I can't wait to show you guys what all I got but look forward to that in a future video. If you have one of these, if you have the smaller size, there are three different sizes. There's a smaller one, there's this one, and then there's a really large one. If you have either of the others, let me know down below. If you have it on your wish list, let me know. If you want to see that organization video, let me know as well. Rate this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications. Any special requests, also let me know in the comments. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.